What's going on, Beaches? It's your boy, Papa Swolio, and of course, Tess Hornaday. What's going on, Beach? How you doing? What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're brand new, make sure you smash that subscribe button for some more thirst quenching goodness every single day. We got five on the motherfucking clock, and I want to jump right into today's video because we got some fat phobia. That's right. We got some fat phobia today. Now, today's fat phobic nonsense is relative to a very, very, very big YouTuber. And this one is, let me just bring up the picture right here. Oh, party foul, party foul. Oh, stop criticizing me. Stop enough, enough. Uh, this one is from Dr. Mike. Now, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you know him. He's a massive, massive, massive channel on YouTube. Um, this video was posted less than a day ago at the time of filming this. It's almost got a million views. My response to fat phobia claims, Dr. Mike is fat phobic. Now I don't watch all this guy's content, but I've seen him around. He seems like a really nice guy, common sense. And his video, he's literally talking about, I want people to not be obese and die. I want my, he wants the best for his patients. Isn't that what every doctor should want? Fat phobic, you mean being fucking healthy? Like, Jesus Christ, he has fat phobic tendencies. Now, anytime you talk about weight loss, you're fat phobic. It's bullshit. It's nonsense. So what I want to do is I want to actually watch a video. We're going to bring up a clip uh, from his video and we're going to watch it together because you need some context. So let's pause the music and let's check this out. He's actually a fan of intermittent fasting, which is unbelievable to me considering he's a medical professional. I frankly don't understand this critique. I like intermittent fasting for myself. Never did I say it's something I recommend to all my patients or as a piece of universal nutrition advice. Why would universal you? Universal nutrition advice doesn't even exist. If you've seen any of my videos, I said that time and time again. Customized. In general, he's talked about obesity and watching what you eat. <laughs> I mean, I've definitely talked about obesity. <laughs> It, it, it's you should. well proven yep. that if your BMI falls under the obese or morbidly obese range, you're facing extra risks to your life. You are going to have more illness. You're going to have a lower quality of life and frankly, a shorter life Thank than you. someone who is not obese. Yes. Does that mean that it will be true all the time? No. no. These are risk scores. These are averages. Yep. Also, many people are quick to point out that the BMI scale is super flawed. It's not a perfect system. <sighs> And the Nothing BMI is. number alone should never be used as a sole indicator of someone's health. Remember, we don't treat lab values. We don't treat numbers. We treat patients. So you look at the BMI number and then look at your patient. So if I see a very strong Context. gentleman in front of me Context. with big muscles and a six pack and his BMI falls under the obese category, That's right. no, I'm not going to think he faces serious health effects because his BMI number is high. We have to use some logic. It's not about being fat phobic. It's mm -hmm. not about fat shaming people. It's about addressing true health risks in a constructive way to help people become the healthiest version of themselves. Being overweight is not just a problem for heart attack, stroke risk. It's a problem for your entire... This is really not surprising to me. Show me a doctor who isn't fat phobic and I will be shocked. It sounds like the person writing this is going through a lot of pain. So it's not about be judgmental. You're being nice. If doctors You're being aren't nice. immediately bringing up someone being overweight or obese, that could be okay because maybe that person isn't ready to have that conversation. But if I'm going to be giving you an honest assessment of your health, where you can do better, where your risks are, you gotta tell we them. have to talk about you weight. It's like them. me having a patient who's a smoker and completely ignoring <sighs> the fact that they smoke when I'm trying to optimize their health. I would be doing a disservice to them. Well said. So yes, when I have patients who come in for a checkup, for a preventive visit, so that they can stay being healthy, part of that discussion is weight management. Not because I'm fat phobic, but it's because I'm patient focused. Nailed it. Absolutely freaking nailed it. That's a great video. You can go and watch it. That's a great clip of a great video. He said it very nicely, more nicely than I usually talk. Yeah, yes, more nicely than you talk because you're a beach. We all, yes. Um, I can't say that online. No, I'm gonna get kicked offline. People, if you are having problems with your doctor, your medical professional, your medical professional talking about your obesity, you're fucked in the head. I'm sorry, you're fucked in the head. Your doctor, if anyone, it has to be your doctor that's talking about your morbid obesity and your obesity. For example, my BMI is in the obese category. But like he said, if I look at BMI, oh my God, this person's obese. No, I'm not. I am just muscular for my height. So I might be in the overweight or obese category. And the BMI isn't perfect for that reason, okay? But it's a very good indicator for someone who doesn't take care of their health. He's a fuck 
freaking doctor. He's a doctor. He's a doctor. If a doctor can't talk about obesity, who the fuck can? Seriously, who the fuck can? If it's not for a doctor, how can you? Oh, God. I'm out of time. Overtime, beaches. Overtime. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. I shall. It's getting hot in here. Ooh. Got that sunburn. Ah, my titties. My titties. People in this an OT. I get amped up in OT. I get amped up the music. Din, 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 din. I feel like I'm going to fight a big boss. I'm at the big boss. If your doctor is not addressing your obesity, you need a new doctor, you need a new physician. This is about health care versus sick care. If you don't want your doctor, if you get your feelings hurt because your doctor tells you what you weigh, weighs you when you go in, talks about your weight problem because it is a risk factor for fucking disease and death. Why are you going to the doctor? You want your meds? You just want your meds so you could take a pill and forget your problems and be in denial the rest of your life that you're killing yourself with food and lack of exercise? <sighs> Look, everything needs to be individualized. Intermittent fasting, why is that a problem? You mean not eating all day? Intermittent fasting is skipping breakfast. You do realize as human beings, we're not supposed to have food all the time. We're supposed to go hunt it and gather it. We're not supposed to have excess of food just flowering around us. Okay? There's a reason why <laughs> there's a reason why fruit is only available seasonally because <laughs> you just don't have access to it all the time. All right? I mean, you don't like imagine if you live in a colder climate and you have to go hunting in the winter. You don't have access to food all the time. You have to exercise and hunt and hike for miles and chase fucking buffalo with spears and arrows and even guns. Let's say you're hunting your own food. You're burning a lot of calories to get that food and you're eating a healthy animal that you conquered. All right? Apex predators, motherfucker. Anyway, that's what we're supposed to do as humans. We're not supposed to have food on every single corner with pure concentrated sugar that's not found in nature. All right. It's embarrassing that he has to even address this issue. It's embarrassing that people would even mention that on Reddit or anywhere. I mean, that's a very succinct, a great way for him to answer. Very politically correct, very nice, very direct. But yeah, your doctor needs to take all the information that he can gather, he or she can gather from your profile, from your blood work, from all that stuff, and then give you the proper care. But we don't want that. We want sick care. We don't really. We, we don't really want health care. We don't want real information. I got a double doctorate in common sense and logic. Trust me on this one. If you's a fat, ya needs to be on fat. So very well done, Doctor Mike. I'm sorry that you're putting up with this bullshit too. But very well answered. Anyone else that's thinking nonsense like this. Go fuck yourself. Thanks for watching. Smash that subscribe button for some more thirst quenching goodness every single day. Make sure you also check out the Daily Swole podcast right here on the channel. Ask Papa Swolio, more Tess Hornaday, and so much more. Thanks for watching. Peace out, beaches. I don't.